Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel CodeLogic. So today we are going to see how to develop a faculty management system using Angular and Node.js. So in this series of this tutorial, uh, we are going to develop the faculty management system from scratch. So uh, these are the some steps. Uh, we have divided this series in uh, various videos. So this is our first video. Uh, we are going to cover this in uh, admin dashboard and the faculty dashboard. Okay. So uh, yeah and uh, if you want any uh, projects then uh, you can contact us on our instagram id uh, the link for that is in the description box below so without wasting any time let's get started so now uh, we need to create a project here so for that we are going to open the command prompt and inside which we are going to use a command ngnu and the project name that is faculty management also we have used flags like routing and the style is css so this will create us routing and uh, css for us so uh, project is ready we go inside our project and open it in our visual studio code okay now we'll open a new terminal here And we'll type command ng serve. This will use to run the Angular application. Okay, it will take time. Now here uh, we need our backend also. So for that we are going to create a new folder here. Faculty management backend. inside which we are going to open the command prompt so we'll go inside that folder cd faculty management backend and we here uh, first we'll clear the screen and we'll type command npm init so it will create a package.json for us so uh, if you want you can give the name for that package uh, I'm just keeping it as it is okay and now uh, we need to open this folder in our visual studio code so for that we are using command code space dot you can see the project is opened here in Intel J there is a package.json file with the name version and description as default can see our angular application is running on port 4200 so for that we'll go inside our browser and hit that URL so you can see here faculty management app is running now uh, we'll go inside our backend and the we have opened a new terminal here here we need some dependencies so for that we use command npm install express body parser and mongoose mongoose is used for mongodb it will take time depending on the internet speed you can see there is a node modules folder is created in our left hand side panel and also package.json file is also updated you can see there are dependencies now also uh, we need some more dependencies like uh, bcrypt.js to encrypt the password then json web token to create a jwt token and verify it okay and the last one we need is chorus so chorus is used to, to uh, catch the api from the cross browser okay so yeah that's it for the video 
and if you have any doubts or suggestions you can contact us on our instagram id that is code logic thank you thank you for watching the video and if you like it please like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye